Hey guys, I'm Heath Derrick with Heath and Molly. We're from Rumsey, Kentucky. So glad to be here for the second annual music fair put on by the Davis County Public Library. It's really cool, there's bands upstairs, we're down here. Booths all over the library on both levels. Folks from music stores, radio stations, colleges, the International Bluegrass uh, Music Museum, studios, record labels, really cool thing and we're really thankful that the folks here at the library are uh, investing the time, energy, money and resources in promoting the arts and music and we're very thankful for that. We're glad to be here and hope y'all keep coming back to support the library and your local music. My name is Chris Langdon. I'm the promotional director with the International Bluegrass Music Museum. I've come down today with a few artifacts and a lot of really, really exciting information. Uh, the International Bluegrass Music Museum, we always have something going on. Uh, we're looking forward to the groundbreaking on our brand new International Bluegrass Music Center, uh, which will be opening in 2017. But in addition to that, we've got concerts and lessons and tours and all sorts of wonderful stuff always happening. I love our library. It's so wonderful to see all the different things that uh, they put together, be it music or film or anything, and any way at all that the Bluegrass Museum can be involved, we always love to do it. It's always a good time. My name is Tina and I'm with Kentucky Mojo and we do cigar box ukuleles. Um, the cigar box instruments have been around for a hundred years probably, but uh, we have a new take on this instrument. Some of these boxes are 80 years old. I think it's awesome that the library is really trying to bring awareness to the music in the area. Um, they do a lot of really cool events, not just for music, but all kinds of different varieties of art in the area. And I think it's really cool that they try to bring awareness to that and get people involved. It's just I, it's I don't know you. It's but by the end of this I'm hoping you. It's my gift, this rest. So I gave it my best And you know the I've been watching you too My name is Brett Ballard and I'm here from Brescia University uh, This is our second time to be here We were here last year when the library uh, had the music fair We've really enjoyed it Got a chance to meet uh, quite a few people A couple of new students and It's really nice to listen to music here And uh, just hope for the continued success And that it keeps going for years to come Still Ask me to move slowly and yes, I've been crawling a while But you say yes, you can handle anything else But we know that's why I'm Jody Holsey with Double Windsor Records and also manage recording artist Nathan Morris here in Owensboro and I've actually come here for two years now and I just, I think this event is wonderful. This is actually a piece of the music scene in Owensboro that's really growing. What I like knowing is that you have a facility you have the people, you have everything necessary to pull together a group and present in the way that they do. Uh, for me tonight, probably one of the most rewarding things was that I had people come around and ask questions that have never talked to an artist manager before. They've never talked to a music producer before. They, and so I got to engage in really deep conversations about where people are at in their career and what they want to accomplish. And so hopefully it seemed like they found a lot of meaning out of that and I'm glad I had a venue to be able to do that. 